guys, what's cracking? Dr. Eric Smith here at Redcon Gym where I have one of my clinics and I have Skylar with me here. So Skylar is the assistant GM, right? Yes. And you've been here how long? About two years. About two years. So this is just not only is she an incredible person, but an amazing athlete. In her history, I learned that you've done so many things. So tell the world about what was your weightlifting record that you did or when you were dead, uh, powerlifting, right? Yes. So I did powerlifting from age 16 to 17 and I got some state records, regional records, world records even. My squat was about 286 and I was like 114 at the time. Damn. I was doing <laughs> about the same deadlift and I wasn't good at the bench, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, and then from there you competed in bikini, right? You yes, did that? I did bikini about a year ago. Did pretty well. That was a good experience, but haven't gone back to that. My whole life I was into sports, running, swimming, volleyball, soccer, you name it. So a very diverse athlete. So that's why I picked her for this video. It's been a long time. It's been like since prep, since she's been adjusted. So she has had chiropractic care before. But what we want to do today is we're just going to go through and just get her reset. Check out what's going on. Explain some of the things which you all might want to see. A little different things of kind of how her physique works. And I like that she's a hybrid. So she lifted really heavy before and she brought that over into a sport that is really more of a muscle contest instead of a diet contest. So with that being said, she takes some time to rehabilitate her body, get everything back on track from, you know, eating so very little for a while to get so lean. Yeah. But you can definitely check out her Instagram. We'll put that down below um, for you guys to check her out and see because she does a lot of lifestyle stuff. And she just has, puts up incredible content as she like runs the gym here. So those of you that are in the South Florida area, you'll probably see the smiling face there. Probably smiling a little <laughs> bit more after this adjustment. Or, yes. or she can be like, don't see this guy. Don't see this guy. <laughs> so, but but um, yeah, let's get into it. So uh, some of the bigger things that you were saying right now, pain-wise or where you feel restricted are where? Shoulder Sorry, and shoulder. sometimes upper back, lat area, just kind of depends. But I don't have any lower body area or lower body pain in that area. So pretty much just shoulders at the moment. Awesome. I like that. So she's got a few things going on. So if you've seen some of my videos in the past, you'll see that I'm more of a ground up person. So if things are going on in the ankles, the knees, the low back, it's going to affect the upper back. And because she's developed and created a lot of stability up there or down there, I'm not surprised that she's having more issues up here because she's done and laid the groundwork where a lot of people do it inversely. They'll lift a lot for their upper back and they don't do leg day. They don't do all these things. But, you know, this girl got her driver's license and also probably picked up the rear end of the car while she was dead. <laughs> so we will get into a few different things with her. The biggest thing um, I always have, like to do because everyone has like upper back and neck stuff is you see just kind of checking out her range of motion through here pretty restricted to the right. Somebody that's got some flexibility and mobility like she has should be able to pretty much get their ear over another five to 10 degrees on this side, but probably another 10 to 15 on this side. So she's really restricted on these lateral motions and stuff up here, which she had complained that there was right shoulder pain. So a lot of times the clavicle through here, a lot of people call it your collarbone will come into your AC joint and you're having kind of pain this and then into the the socket right like you feel like deep in there yes and okay. that makes sense because i often feel like sore through here the collarbone area okay so and so when you say that like there or you feel like when i push in there yeah definitely i feel that but i would say like i just feel like sore almost like i'm like sore in the chest area okay so those of you that have followed some of my videos should know that i do a certain adjustment for this so this is the first rib so your thoracics differ from your cervicals because you have ribs so with the 12 thoracic um, vertebrae there are, that's where your rib cage is. So this one up here, if we were to have the skin go away, you'd pretty much just see that it's like a necklace. But when this guy gets out of place, your clavicle doesn't actually rotate the way that it should. So um, it'll create you wanting to move the shoulder forward. And when you do you become internally rotated, it's gonna create more pressure in here and move the humerus forward. So if you wanna come around here, I'll show you what I see from the back. So this is how I like to assess and see if you're ever wondering if you have this. So we look at her, she's a great taper, obviously done a great job in her physique and keeping a good posture. That's one thing when I walked in and, and saw her, I was like, oh, this woman has good posture. Little did I know like she runs the gym. So, <laughs> but um, when I take and come off the humer humeruses here and um, into the shoulder, and I take my thumb, this one dips in a little bit, but this one goes in way far. So her humerus is really far forward there. So we're gonna end up doing a shoulder adjustment. We're gonna do both of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if we get a good cavitation out of there. But the point of that is to open this capsule up and bring the shoulder back to where it should. So, and beside that, you can see like she has good posture. She can sit up nice and straight. She's not like struggling or losing breath from doing that. 
but she does have a little bit of a, like the motion through here doesn't really move the way that I want it to, but she can get into thoracic extension really well. So do you get pain kind of in the clap, like in the front sometimes, like in the ribs in this area? Yeah. 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 So a lot of times that's what started me into chiropractic because I had a really flat spine through there. So I get what's called costochondritis. So those of you who don't know what costochondritis is, it's a lot of the ribs where they articulate with the sternum in there are being pulled apart because it's too jam, um, jam forward. So she was a gymnast too, right? Yes. You swam. Yes. You did everything. Ran. Yes. <laughs> everything so i think she just played sports and never slept the, um so so she's done a lot of things so a lot of those sports the swimming and those things she can get that extension and that's why she's used to using her postural muscles and her posterior chain very well so i know that was a lot of explanation you guys want to see the pops and cracks i'm sure you do so let's get into her adjustment now so go ahead and lay face down for me please now that we can let, let her muscles and you can put your arms down okay. here if not there you go now that we can let those relax we can see what's going on so some of the things that I'm just assessing and, and pushing into is just seeing really where she has some more muscle tension, which she has like a lot through here. Yeah, I feel that. Yep. So she is right-handed, so there's always going to be probably some slight deviation of the curve in there. But as we just push through here, it's definitely stuck kind of in there. And then as we get into checking out her spine and then seeing what's going on. So she's, her right side is slightly higher than her left, and then she's a little rotated in there. You getting sore out there sometimes? Mm -hmm. Yep. So looking at the flexibility, that gets there really, really easy. So for somebody that has good muscle and strength in the legs, I'm really impressed because it's usually one or the other, but she has the flexibility and the stability. And as we even look, just to check and see, her feet are pretty spot on what we're looking for there. So Steven repping all the Redcon stuff, all the gear as she goes. So coming soon. <laughs> oh, is this a new thing coming out? Yes, the leggings are coming soon. Leggings are coming soon and there's like a camo line. Yep, with so, mossy oak. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So you that are outdoorsy, the hunters, people like that, then that's going to be a nice collab that they have going on. So let's just loosen up some of this muscular through here. It's just a vibrational massager. I tend to like this a lot just to get a lot of the muscles loosened up. Vibration works a little bit different than some of these strong guns that you guys use. So I use this to relax first. And then if we're gonna activate or use anything like that, some of these bigger guns that people have, sometimes this can be a little tender. She had mentioned before that in prep, she had a problem in kind of like this area with her lat. And normally that's probably some type of rib or thing. And as she had to do all these funky posing positions and her body was not used to being held like that for very long. Trying to do that when you're eating like what, probably 1,200, 1,500 <laughs> calories. Yeah. Something like that. How long was your prep? 16 weeks. So she did a 16 week. Wow. So she must have been in pretty good shape to just bring it down to do that. So just a little loosening some things up. Especially when somebody has a good amount of muscle, getting some blood flow in, just setting that body to get ready for the adjustment is helpful. So let's do some easy ones through the thoracics. I know you've been adjusted before, but for those of you that don't, don't know, she's going to hear some pops and cracks. That's just gas being released on the joints. So let's get into that. Nice deep breath. And all the way out. Boom. That middle one. <laughs> Feel okay? Yes. Good. Amazing. Awesome. So you're doing good with that. Let's have you lay on your right side and you're going to face me, okay? So how I like to do the low backs and what, what I see going on is she has a rotation of her pelvis. So I'm just going to have her stay right there. Just going to drop this leg off, a little push back. Nice deep breath. I'm going to all the way out. Oh my gosh. That's like instant <laughs> relief. So for this one, I'm going to change the adjustment a little bit more. So she's able to, and she has a good lumbar curve through here. So I'm just going to move this up so I can adjust her sacrum. Pull this out so I can get the right angle. Open that hand up for me. Good, let that relax. Actually, I'll have you scoot down the table just a little bit. There we go, put the headrest in there. So with you, what we were feeling, these mid cervicals and then upper ones here, these do the lateral flexion, kind of get you over there. This moves better than I thought, but we're gonna adjust that first rib like we talked about today okay. too. And these will be the loudest ones just because your ears are relaxed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. You can still feel your feet, right? Yes. <laughs> Chiropractic joke. Should always be able to. <laughs> Definitely not going to have anything happen from there. So she's just really tight up here. It's normally because the human head's about 8 to 12 pounds. Normally women have the 12 pound head because you're smarter than guys. 
So um, this is all the other extra tension up there. So can you get neck pain from pain that you're having in your back too? Absolutely. So yeah. a lot of times, especially with her, her biggest congestion was her thoracics. And that's probably just because she's doing a lot of social media. She's on doing a lot of reports, working the front desk, managing things. So it's just that postural part. And so as that's not moving, your head's going to be more forward. The more forward it is, the heavier it's going to be. Just like if you had a plate and you're holding it against your body, like this, 45 pound plate is 45 pounds, but as soon as I move it out here, it's like 60. When I move it out here, it's like 75. Right. So you want to keep your head right over. And so with your good posture, that's helpful. But a lot of times when you're slumped over or when you see people working and they look in that shrimp position, you know, if you look like a croissant, you, it's not a good look and you don't want that. So this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have to really take your head way over with that shoulder relax. Good. Good. And that one right here. Good. Okay, so let's get into some more of those thoracics and get this to move. Slide down the table just a little bit more. Good, there we go. One more. Perfect. That one was loud. Tons of pops and cracks out of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, scoot over the table just in the center there. So now, as I said, from the ground up, we're going to assess and take a look and see what's going on with the rest of her body here. So we have the ankles and typically there's two motions that we're going to, or main things we're going to look for. Plantar flexion, which is the foot going like that, which she has, she can do real easy. And then dorsiflexion. So if this doesn't allow to get flat, then it's going to change how her knee works and some of her other things. So it seems like if anything, she's a little bit more restricted on this left side. So the way I'm going to adjust that, just like this, let this relax and you're going to feel kind of a pull. You might even feel it in your hip, okay? Yeah. Good. Oh my gosh. How'd that feel? Good. I've never had a adjustment done on my... In your ankle? Yeah, never. Yeah. Her knees feel pretty good, but you probably feel this in your hip too, okay? This kind of motion, I'm just checking to see if her meniscus are really kind of sitting where they should be, as well as make sure that her femur isn't rotating off her tibia wrong, because if it is, a lot of people will feel this pain in like one side or the other and really pushing on one meniscus. So that relax. Didn't know you are going to get all these pops, huh? No. <laughs> okay. Well, let's have you sit up and face me. Strong core. She does it herself. And then if you want to see, so we talked about this shoulder being more forward. So we're going to get into that, but let's do your wrists and such first. And so I like to do these, especially if she's lifting and doing a lot of different things, just checking to make sure that they're moving around okay. You'll probably hear like some crunchers in there. Oh, and your elbow, let this relax. Good, not too bad. Okay, okay, so this one's an audience participation adjustment for the shoulder. So I'm gonna have you stand up and I'll have you face that way so I can get behind you. So we talked about your right shoulder being like that. So I'm gonna have you put your hand on your hip and then, yep, just like that. And then what I'm gonna have you do is when I tell you to, you're just gonna flick this back as hard as you can, like real quick. So yeah. mass or force is mass times acceleration. So she's got some muscle, if she does it really quick, we should hear a nice little pop from the adjustment. Cause what it's gonna do is open up this shoulder joint. So I'm gonna come around and I'll tell you when. Go ahead. Oh, hold on. No. Okay, good. Not too bad. Let that relax. I'm gonna do this a little bit different way. Drop this elbow. Good. Go ahead. And sometimes we hear a pop and crack, and sometimes we don't. Okay. Like so. Awesome. Okay, try to take that right ear to the right shoulder. Oh, this. There you go, you got it. Let's go to the other side. All right, how does that feel? Good. Okay. Definitely a lot looser. Yeah, wow. it looks like your range of motion has improved quite a bit. So, yeah. any other areas that have been bothering you? No. The more cracks than you thought they were going to be? Yes. Yes. So, we're going to keep her healthy. <laughs> Look forward to the next video. Check out her Instagram. Check out Redcon Gym so you can come see her. Do a day pass. Check out the gym. She can help you get in a membership. Yes. Start to get lean a bit and see the other trainers here. Then you can come upstairs and see me. So thanks yeah. for watching. We'll see you next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.